Trim and extend are tools which allow us to clean up how certain drawn objects cross or touch each other. While they used to all be the same tool, today they actually have three buttons to do all their different functions, and they can be found up on the ribbon. So in order to be able to see those, let's go ahead and take a look at Level 2 Structural Plans. And we're going to zoom in and select on one of these beams that's going across here. By doing this, we now have our modification tools up here on the ribbon. And the one we're going to be looking for, of course, is going to be the Trim Extend to Corner tool. Also, there's two other tools up there, which are Trim Extend Single Element, as well as Trim Extend Multiple Elements. Now, for what it's worth, Trim Extend Single Element and Trim Extend Multiple Elements are almost the exact same tool. The only difference is, as the name implies, is that Single Element allows you to use the command essentially one time, while Multiple Elements allows you to do this to multiple different objects essentially at the same time. So, the two main different commands here are going to be Trim Extend the Corner, and Trim Extend Single Element. So let's start by illustrating the Trim Extend the Corner tool. So we'll go ahead and select on that. Next, we'll want to select on this beam right here, and then this one here. And we'll do the same thing down here below. Now the reason why these happen to be cleaning up to a corner like this is that there are some certain cleanup tools that are in play here. Now if we wanted one to stop before the other one, we'll learn about those beam join tools in the beam join exercise in chapter 8. Now, in this case, we can see how they've all come together, and it looks almost exactly like this image up here of the trim extend the corner. Well, if we select on this beam right here, and now hold your mouse button down, you'll also notice that if we move this from side to side, this will continue to flex and adjust based on the fact that it knows it's supposed to be tied in here at this end, and it knows it's supposed to be tied in here at this end. Another thing that we could do is if we decided to select on this, pull this back so it's now once again on the column grid, we could also select on one of these end pieces, one of these end beams, and we'll get these little dots that show up here on the end. Now technically these dots are called grips, and if you select on a grip, you can pull it out, or if you select on a dot, a grip, it allows you to pull it back. Now if you do this, you can see it's no longer cleaning up the way that it was before. Now technically we can use the Trim Extend the Corner tool if we wished, and it would automatically get that same condition that it had before. But there's a couple other things that we could do if we wanted to have these clean up on one another. The first thing is we could click on this little grip and we could just sort of pull it forward until it got to that intersection right there. And you can see how it automatically cleans itself up. In fact, if it's just a one-off kind of condition, this is what I do an awful lot. And I'll just click on one, just pull it back, and get them so they line up and have them just automatically, as much as possible anyway, clean up on one another. You can see here one of the weaknesses in doing that. Sometimes by just clicking on it and pulling it and sort of eyeballing it, it won't clean up quite the way that you would expect it to. In fact, it might even give you an error message saying they can't keep the things actually joined to one another. And, you know, in this case, that's okay. The reason is, is that we can still use our tools from up here, like Trim Extend Corner, in order to be able to fix these conditions. Now, another thing that we can know or we can use is this Trim Extend Single Element tool. Now, if we use the single element, this is what it does. By selecting on this column, we can click on it and pull it out. This one, we can click on it and pull it back. And if we decide to do the single element tool instead, instead of saying where this beam and this beam cross each other, it's pulled this one back to wherever the face of this beam is at. So in this case, I'm going to pick this outside edge here and then select on this particular beam. And you can see how it pulled it back to where the face of this beam is at. And we can do the same thing with this one down here. So we'll go ahead and I'm just escaped out of the tool. I'll select back on here. Once again, I'll use the Trim Extend Single Element, pick that line, pick the beam, and we can see how they end up cleaning up on one another. Now it's important to know that these commands apply to walls and beams and many other types of entities, including line work. And by using their power, we can clean up many different conditions without the need to redraw the objects from scratch.